morning year five uh, welcome to shared reading lesson two for week six so we're still looking at the properties for selling houses so sorry the real estate agent are selling houses so our learning intention is we are learning to explain how persuasive devices are used to convince people to buy things in particular property houses so to be successful, yesterday we watch, watched and understood the text. Today we're going to do a mix of identifying the purpose of the text, which I think we already have, um, and evidence uh, supporting the purpose, but also identifying the language features used to convince the audience. So straight away we know the purpose of this text is to sell uh convince people to buy this property but it's also it's not solely going to convince people to buy the property it will help people help convince people so i've got that there because not only a video is probably the first point of people looking for a house most people are not going to just watch a video and say aha i'm going to buy this property they're going to want an inspection they're going to have to get advice and help from a bank they're going to talk more about to the real estate agent they might do their own research about the area there's lots of things that they need to do to buy the property but the video helps convince them uh, it's probably the first step and so the evidence we know that this is the purpose because of these things and this is the evidence that comes straight from the text and we'll have a look when we watch the video again so we have the photos used to show the house and they focus on the best aspects of the house um, there's the welcoming nature of the real estate agent where he says come on in um, and he says presenting to you this house there's also the positive reasons for buying this house so he says that it's close to the beach it's comfortable all year round has lift access beautiful interiors and a car park so it's easy and convenient all this is evidence from the text that tells us that he's trying to sell the property he's trying to convince people to buy or at least have a look at this property okay uh, the bulk of today's lesson is actually going to be on this final success criteria and that's to identify the language features used to convince the audience and explain how they're used to help convince. Um, so how do they actually convince the audience? So I've got this here and I'm going to come back to it but let's watch the video and what I mentioned in the video will just be reiterated on this slide as well. Okay, so straight away, one of the features is the music. It's calm, it's quite upbeat though. It's not like a dun dun dun. It's not going to give you the horror vibe, but it makes you feel relaxed, at ease. And it wants you to actually come in closer. It also reminds me of the beach and living next to the beach or near the beach, which is where this house is. Also, the idea of showing the address and what the real estate says straight straight away as an introduction helps so let's listen to that as well presenting to you today this unique and one-of-a-kind opportunity welcome to one of two Livonia street mossman i'm john grooms come with me okay they are all different techniques used so his introduction the way that he says I'm John Grooms, come with me. He's not a stranger, he's talking to you as if you know him and it sets up that kind of rapport, that relationship that, oh, okay, I will listen to you because you know what you're talking about as well. Also, one of a kind and unique opportunity. That to me says that this is probably where these houses coming up on the market and there might not be many of them so it makes me feel like oh i have to act now because i might miss it other people might like this property too so i have to be fast about it beautifully crafted
Okay, the shots of the inside actually give us a feel for what it looks like. It looks clean, it's well presented, it's not cluttered. Uh, these are all techniques to sell a house. interiors take their cues from nature with features in oak and stone okay i'll stop there beautifully crafted interiors here's our descriptive language beautifully crafted um, that's describing what it looks like taking its cues from nature that makes us feel like it's not really man-made or, or wooden it's really quite green and you can see that photo uh, looking at the back of the greenery as well so when people think of nature, they think of natural and um, and they, it makes you want to live there as well. Well, ducted air conditioning and underfloor heating afford year-round comfort. And so year-round comfort, so the, the heating and the air con uh, allow you to have um, year-round comfort, so being comfortable, that again is descriptive language. Level lift access to double parking offers easy convenience. And then we've got more descriptive language, easy convenience. And everyone wants things to be easy and convenient, uh, so they are selling features. We have more shots of the house looking at clean. This exceptional beachside haven features premium finishing. This exceptional is our descriptive language again. Beachside haven. So, again, very descriptive. Um, so, we get the location. It's right near the beach. Oh, that's something that I want. And uh, haven, that it's a really nice place to live and a total of 423 square metres on top. Okay, that's actually a fact. The 425, I think it was, square metres is a fact of the, and it's the land size. So that's probably a quite a good size block for that area. And so when he says that it's big and spacious, he's using that fact to back him up to support what he says. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at one of our next inspections. Those positive language, we look forward to, um, to seeing you, not ah, oh, see you soon. It's we look forward. It's making, making me feel like, oh, I actually do want to, want to go. He's including me and he wants to see, see us there. So that positive language is actually helping to convince us as well. And then we've got the contact details at the end. Okay, I'm going to go back to my slide. And this is just going to reiterate what I said in the video as we stopped and started. So we've got the opening shot, which is the opening photo and introduction by the real estate agent. So the language used, unique and one of a kind opportunity and come with me. That is inclusive language which makes you feel included. Oh, he's talking to me. He's not just talking to someone else. He wants me to come in and have a look. Unique and one of a kind opportunity means that mm, these are quite rare, it may not last long, as I've said there, it may not last long on the market and there may not be another one like it. So I need to act pretty quickly. Those words are making me think, oh, if I want this, I need to act quickly. I've said here that the, um, the opening shot actually gives us the address so we know where it is and it makes it look very peaceful and calm. Serene is a, is a good word for that. It's very inviting, wants us to keep looking and keep watching. The music is a persuasive device here. The music is upbeat and it sounds beachy. Uh, it's not too overpowering or loud. And it makes us think of a beach, feels like we're on holiday and relaxed, and also feels what it would be like to live in this house. So it doesn't tell you that it's a busy street and there's lots of cars or you're next to a school. It won't highlight those features because some people will 
um, will say, oh, no, I don't want to live there because it's too loud. So it's going to make it look calm and nice and wanting to live there. Okay, then we've got a lot of descriptive language in this text. We've got, as I've said before, these are the examples. This is my text evidence. Beautifully crafted interiors, year-round comfort, convenient, exceptional beachside haven. This is what I want you to look for. I want you to hear what are the words that they're actually saying. How are they describing the property? And so it makes the house seem amazing. So most people, when they're looking to buy, they look for easiness, convenience, and then they look for price. So if the real estate agent is making the house seem very beautiful, easy and convenient, easy to keep clean, uh, it's not a lot of work to keep the gardens healthy and okay. So then I'm more likely to look at that house. If it's a lot of work, people think, oh, it's too much work. I don't want that. I'll look elsewhere. So those words are purposefully chosen to make you at least want to look, um, look at the house itself. And then lastly, the fact, the 423 square meters of land. So this shows how big the house really is. And it supports um, where the real estate says it's big um, and it's beautiful. That fact supports that for that area. It's quite big. Okay, thanks Year 5. I'll leave it here for today and we'll pick up again probably with a new ad tomorrow.